just three diagonal stripes, a minimalist symbol, yet one with the power of global recognition. That's Adidas, a brand that has kept innovating for over 90 years, from performance solutions to cultural statements. From shoes pieced together with leftover materials after World War II to the breakthrough boost sole technology, Adidas has always moved forward, not to follow trends, but to create them. Each pair of shoes is the result of a precise process, starting with 3D design sketches, flexible prime knit fabric, the springy boost sole, and finishing with strict quality checks. Even though hundreds of millions are made every year, each product still holds its own personality, like a vivid piece of modern culture. In this video, you'll get to explore behind the scenes, where these shoes are not just the product of cutting-edge technology, but the result of creativity, precision, and a unique identity that can't be copied. Most people don't know that Adidas started in a small laundry workshop in Germany during the 1920s, where Adolf Dassler, a humble shoe repairman, handcrafted the first sports shoes with one clear goal, to help athletes perform better. Despite going through World War II, family disputes, and even a time when the factory was seized to produce weapons, Adidas survived and gradually rose to become a global icon. Today, Adidas is no longer just a sneaker brand, it has grown into a complete industry, producing over 400 million pairs of shoes every year across the world. But that number alone isn't the most remarkable part. What truly sets the brand apart is how each product is made. Instead of relying on traditional raw materials, Adidas reuses plastic waste collected from the ocean, discarded raincoats, and even old tires. Through a sophisticated recycling process, these seemingly useless items are transformed into lightweight, durable, and highly elastic materials, good enough to create sneakers that are not only stylish and high-performing, but also more eco-friendly than ever before. So what kind of magic turns a plastic bottle drifting in the Pacific Ocean into a $300 sneaker on display? Stick around until the end of the video. The journey is about to begin. Before an Adidas shoe ever appears on a store shelf, it is first born in the digital world. At the design headquarters, ideas no longer stop at hand-drawn sketches. They are brought to life using 3D CAD software, combined with artificial intelligence. Adidas's AI system can simulate and analyze thousands of design variations in just a few hours, from the curvature of the sole and the cushioning of the mid-layer, to how the foot reacts when running or landing. This allows engineers to fine-tune technical details right from the virtual design phase, saving both time and resources. Once the internal structure reaches optimal performance, the team moves on to refining the outer appearance, adjusting colors, blending patterns, and shaping the silhouette to ensure that each pair isn't just effective with every stride, but also visually appealing, instantly recognizable, and a reflection of the wearer's personality whether they're on the field or walking the streets. But design is only the starting point. To turn sketches into real movement, every step needs a solid foundation. And no technology captures Adidas's identity better than Boost, the breakthrough that made the entire footwear industry rethink what cushioning really means. At first glance, a Boost sole looks like a simple white foam with a speckled texture. But few people realize it's made from thousands of tiny plastic pellets, miniature energy capsules. When exposed to high-pressure steam, these particles expand, fuse together, and form a springy cushion that's nearly impossible to fully compress. Every step feels like there's a hidden spring under your foot. Originally developed for the automotive industry, this technology was reimagined by Adidas to serve the body in motion. And since then, Boost has delivered not just comfort, but become a signature of Adidas design. Building on that success, Adidas continued to push boundaries with a material that's both familiar and full of surprises. Carbon. At the Adidas Innovation Lab, engineers studied how the foot moves during high-speed running and came to a key insight. Instead of using a single solid carbon plate like many competitors, a more effective approach was to split it into several smaller rods. That's how the energy rod system was born. Ultralight, ultra-stiff carbon bars placed separately within the midsole, mimicking the structure of the human foot. 
The result is a ride that feels more flexible, more natural, yet delivers explosive energy return with every stride. This isn't just a material upgrade, it's Adidas redefining the entire running experience. Boost feels like landing on an air cushion, while Carbon responds with the sharp snap of a forward launch. Which one do you think matches your movement style better? Feel free to share which sensation you prefer in the comments below. Unlike traditional woven fabrics, the upper part of an Adidas shoe is made using prime knit, a seamless material that wraps around the foot like a second skin. What makes it special isn't just the knitting technique, but also the material itself. Instead of using newly made synthetic fibers, Adidas has shifted to recycled plastic collected from ocean waste. Thanks to digital knitting technology, seemingly useless materials like foam scraps, fishing nets, and leftover nylon are reborn as lightweight, breathable fabric tough enough for pro athletes. Each prime knit piece is programmed to stretch, support, or ventilate specific zones of the foot, and it's all woven in one piece, with no need for cutting or manual stitching. That means less leftover material and a big reduction in production waste. But that's only the surface. Behind every strand of yarn is a global recycling network quietly at work. Where Adidas isn't just turning trash into shoes, but steadily building a future of zero-waste, sustainable fashion. That journey will unfold in the next part. Once the prime knit fabric is finished, it's still just a flat, flexible sheet with no defined shape. To turn it into an upper that hugs the foot precisely, Adidas uses a high-precision molding process. The molds are designed to match the exact size and shape of the human foot, made from heat-resistant engineering plastic. Before molding, the molds are heated to a specific temperature, just enough to increase flexibility while maintaining shape stability during the process. The upper is then stretched and wrapped tightly around the mold, then placed into a specialized press, where pressure is evenly distributed across the fabric's entire surface. This step is highly sensitive. The heat must be enough to soften the fibers without damaging prime knit's signature elasticity, and the pressure must be strong enough to shape the fabric snugly without overstretching it. After a few minutes, once the material has memorized the mold's shape, it retains the form even after removal, transforming from a flat sheet into the shoe's first three-dimensional structure. This is a crucial shaping phase, laying the foundation for joining the upper with the sole and other technical components in the next stages of assembly. Once the upper has taken on its full three-dimensional shape, it moves on to the bonding stage with the midsole. Adidas's signature boost layer. The boost sole is pre-molded from compressed TPU pellets, known for their high elasticity and specially treated to ensure maximum adhesion. Before pressing, the contact edges between the upper and the sole are coated with a special heat-activated adhesive. The upper is then precisely positioned onto the sole and placed into a hydraulic pressing system. Here the press applies both high pressure and heat for a few seconds to activate the glue. The force must be tightly controlled, strong enough to evenly spread the adhesive and ensure a solid bond, but not so strong that it deforms the materials. Even a tiny misalignment of just a few fractions of a millimeter can affect the shoe's balance and wearing feel. Once the midsole is securely bonded to the upper, the shoe moves on to the next stage, attaching the outsole, the rubber layer that provides traction and resists wear. The inner surface of the outsole is treated with high temperature flames to remove any impurities and activate its adhesive properties. Robotic arms handle the application of heat-activated glue and press the outsole into place with precisely controlled pressure, ensuring the rubber layer firmly adheres across the entire surface of the midsole. For curved areas and shoe edges, skilled technicians step in to make manual adjustments and ensure perfect accuracy. A specialized pressing system then applies even pressure to multiple points simultaneously, locking the entire outsole into place without distorting the material. Finally, the shoe is placed into a heat chamber to stabilize the bond, resulting in a finished sole that is strong, flexible, and ready to withstand the demands of every step. Once the shoe has taken its final shape, it moves into the inspection area. Here, each product is examined under strong lighting and sensor-based scanners to detect any bonding flaws, 
stitching misalignments, or asymmetries. Small details like excess threads, glue marks, or off-center logos are carefully identified and removed. An automated system captures images of each shoe and compares them to a master reference. If any deviation is detected, the shoe is immediately pulled from the production line. Alongside the machines, experienced technicians perform one final manual check to ensure that every pair of Adidas shoes leaving the factory meets the highest standards of perfection. After the shoes are thoroughly cleaned, the packaging and shipping process begins. A step that may seem simple, but it's the final link, ensuring a complete Adidas experience from the very first unboxing. Each pair is given a final check, then placed into its box with tissue paper to hold its shape and an instruction card included. The box is printed with a barcode and product information, then sealed by an automated system. These boxes are grouped into larger shipments and sent to global distribution centers. From there, they continue their journey to stores, retail partners, and customers in over 160 countries. Behind every online order click or every in-store unboxing moment is a finely tuned logistics chain, where every step with Adidas begins not just from the foot, but, but from a global production ecosystem. When Adidas shoes leave the factory in their neat square boxes, it's not the end, but the next link in a much bigger cycle, where materials can return from the finish line and start all over again. Adidas's recycling process begins on beaches, coves, and coastlines, overwhelmed by plastic waste. Through a partnership with Parley for the Oceans, Adidas collects discarded plastics like pet bottles, abandoned fishing nets, and nylon bags once aimlessly floating across the sea, now brought back into the production line. At the same time, old shoe take-back programs have been rolled out in multiple countries, allowing users to return products that have reached the end of their life. After being sorted and cleaned, the plastic is shredded into small pellets, melted down, and spun into recycled polyester fibers. These fibers are then refined to achieve the right thickness, strength, and elasticity required for prime knit fabric. The entire process is carefully controlled to ensure the recycled threads meet the high standards needed for performance footwear. This not only helps reduce the amount of waste ending up in our oceans, but also cuts water usage and CO2 emissions by up to 50% compared to traditional fiber production. And Adidas isn't stopping there. The company is developing fully recyclable shoes, including the fabric, soles, and even the glue so that an old shoe can become the raw material for the next one. A zero-waste, never-ending loop. A vision that may soon become essential for the entire fashion industry. What do you think about a sneaker that can be endlessly reborn? Could Adidas's zero-waste model be powerful enough to reshape the world of sportswear? Share your thoughts in the comments, and if you've ever owned a pair made from recycled plastic, feel free to tell us about your experience. Nike and Adidas, two giants that dominate the world of sports, don't just compete on the playing field, but in every stitch and seam. Yet behind their high-speed sneakers lie two entirely different philosophies. Nike was born in the US with its bold, individualistic spirit, summed up in the slogan, Just Do It. The brand pours resources into iconic design, provocative marketing campaigns, and superstar athletes like Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Cristiano Ronaldo. Nike makes shoes the way it builds celebrities, shaping global pop culture along the way. Adidas, on the other hand, has its roots in a humble German workshop and takes a more technical, performance-driven approach. The focus is on innovation, from the revolutionary boost sole to the seamless prime knit upper. Every Adidas shoe feels like a precision-tuned sports machine, built to perform more than to pose. In terms of scale, Nike still leads the world in revenue. But Adidas is steadily closing the gap through agile manufacturing, minimalist design trends, and a sharp edge in sustainable development. One brand is a symbol of pop culture, the other a symbol of sports engineering. Their rivalry isn't just about market share, it's about two very different ways of defining a shoe. Fashion versus function, personal statement versus technical legacy. And it's exactly this contrast that makes the world of sports more exciting than ever. So if you had to choose, would you go with Nike 
the bold cultural icon, or Adidas, the precision crafted machine built to perform? Let us know your pick in the comments. The journey from sketch to finish sneaker has come to an end. But behind every layer of fabric, every sole, and every precisely stitched seam lies a quietly operating ecosystem. Where cutting edge technology, human ingenuity, and the pursuit of a sustainable future come together to create a product made not just to be worn, but to be truly felt. Adidas is not simply a shoe manufacturer. They are crafting living structures. Designs that not only move with the body, but also inspire and serve as a means for each wearer to express their identity, personality, and lifestyle through every step they take. If this journey has given you a new perspective on sneakers, one that's deeper and more emotional, support the channel by hitting like, subscribing, and turning on notifications so you won't miss the next video. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below because every genuine perspective helps complete the story.